Property is 2018. I got some roof finds, some stucco finds, and things I find on every brand new property. Let's go check it out. I thought for the roof find it would be best to show you from the inside of the attic area because they both tie together, the ventilation and how they did the roof here. They forgot to add the ridge vent right here or the roofer ridged over it. They may have thought that this was okay because they might have had enough ventilation from the soffit vents, but you need a 50-50 scale. You need 50% of your ventilation on the top of the roof and 50% of the ventilation from the side of the roof. Or you can have gable ventilation. I think they may have just tried to design this for gable ventilation, but they didn't install the gable vents either. But that's not for me to decide, uh, really. It's just for me to let them know that they have poor ventilation. So uh, I'll show you some pictures of where it belongs and then also right here you can see they shingled over it and you have no light coming in from the ridge vents. Okay, the attic space is a little tight up here but I wanted to be able to show you that the ductwork is turning at a 90 degree angle. I catch this quite a bit on brand new properties. It's crimped so you're gonna get low airflow in a, in a bedroom. Also, there's a lot of ductwork that's actually touching in the attic space. You also want to separate it with a piece of insulation or about an inch off of each other because they will condensate in the, act in the attic space. The next thing is with the furnace flue, I always like to start inspecting my furnaces from the top down. So I always start with the flue and I noticed that the flue was touching the wood in the attic. You need a one inch clearance uh, from all flues. Okay, so for the last thing in the attic space is the primary drain line for the coils. Actually needs a P-trap over here. So for the stucco finds, they had a lot of sealant that wasn't done around the light fixtures and around the patio. And then also they painted over all the weep screens, screeds, weep screeds. I'll, uh, I'll show that to you. I almost forgot, they forgot to install the weep holes above the lintels on the brick veneer siding. Uh, weep holes are supposed to be every 33 inches on the bottom of brick veneer and above windows and doors all on brick veneer over the lintels. Okay, on a lighter note, your inspector will try to catch even the smaller things like the loose outlets outside. The patio has a little bit of rust marks on the outside, so we just recommend for some small painting. The door's not latching properly, the hardware not working, and then also we caught one window in this one that's not latching 100%. There you go again, that's Chris with A Action. We got some really good finds on this one. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the videos. The fixtures and the, the bottom of the patio that wasn't videos or the You have your ridge board and this is normally where your socket that we go right here from the roof structure.